Hello guys, welcome back for another video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Promise 9 2024 Seasons Greetings. This box is absolutely beautiful. I love it. The theme this year is ballerinas, which is going to be so beautiful. I can already, oh, I'm so excited. First, let's look at the box. This is what the box looks like this year. I really like it. Um, I will say it's probably smaller, but also thicker than last year's Seasons Greetings. Keep that in mind. It's very heavy this year compared to last year, so ooh, I am so excited to get into this. It's almost like a light yellow or like a cream color for the box. Again, this box is super heavy, but here is what the front looks like. It says all of the members' names. I love this little embossed logo. Beautiful. And then I believe all of the sides are just plain. This is what the back looks like. We have the Pledis and the Withmu logo on it. I did not order this from Withmu. I actually ordered it from Weverse. So Weverse did give us some pre-order benefits. Luckily this year they gave us a set of members instead of last year where they gave us two out of eight members. We have the full set of Weverse pre-order benefits. They also did do a pre-order benefit with Withmu, but I'm fairly certain they are the same PC. But if it is a different set, I'll try and get it. Here it is. And this is what the back looks like. All of the backs are the same for the we Weverse ones. I'm actually surprised that it doesn't say Weavers on it, which leads me to believe that it is in fact going to be the same pre-order benefit. I feel like they would have put a logo on the back if it wasn't. Oh, I just love Jisun. I'm sorry, but it's just gorgeous. I love when she wears blue dresses. Like, I don't know. It's just a very specific thing. Oh my God, the glove is so cute. These pearl earrings, her hair, so stunning. Don't know why I keep showing you the backs when they're the same back, but oh my god, this theme is so cutiful and wonderful and beautiful and I love it. Oh my god, chef's kiss, wonderful. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the actual season's greetings. We have a ton of stuff today, including a regular photo card set. I'll actually just go ahead and get into it now, but here is the photo card set. This back is so cute, oh my goodness. So I believe every member wrote Happy New Year in their own handwriting. Yes, they did. Shut up, this card is stunning. The pink ribbon bow, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Jisun always, literally always slays, like she slays so hard. And then this is gorgeous. Oh my God, I love that like unitard, the blue unitard, so pretty. Cheong with this hair, like her hair up, styled up. So cute. She wrote it in pink. This Nakyung, her makeup looks really pretty. It's like very blushy, very pink. So cute. And then this Jihan. And then she wrote it in rainbow. That is so cute. I love these photo card sets. I'm so happy to have them. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull things out one by one. So I wanna say that this is the photo book. This definitely yay it is the photo book look how gorgeous this is like i think they are two for two on season's greetings themes and this is a big photo book oh my god cannot wait to get into it so let's go ahead and get into it right now so it says to flover shut up this is so cute the middle of the photo book, it's not too bad. Like, it doesn't cut off anyone's face. It's just a little hard to see Soyeon, but I will say this is so cute. Oh my god, I think I might be biased, but I think that they have the best season's greetings theme this year ever out of everyone. Like, they just look so stunning. Oh my god. I'm just gonna let you guys appreciate this photo book because y'all don't need to hear me ooing and aahing over everyone. It 
the butterfly clips oh my god sorry <laughs> so pretty We have units and then different outfits I love this skirt on set on this outfits really pretty I just love the use of all these bows it truly is the year of the bow and I love the way that they always style Hyung. They always style Hyung a little bit more girly than all the other members. Like they always put her in poofy skirts and just overall really, really pretty. Ooh, this hairstyle is really cute. Love this shade of purple. Her hair looks so pretty. This top is gorgeous. Ooh, that picture is really nice. I like this little, I don't know if it's a clip or if they're little, like multiple different clips. Ooh, these pictures are really pretty. This reminds me of, uh, what era was it? Love Bomb? Because of the, the curtain background. And then a little interview. Give you guys a little up close of the interview if you can read it. Good for you. Oh, and then it says from Promise 9 on the back. So it says to Flover from Promise 9. So cute. Oh my goodness. So that was the photo book. The next thing in here is a planner, which I am glad that they included this year because they didn't include one in last year's season's greetings. All they had was like a little memo notepad thing for a planner, but this is a full blown nice planner. And I really like that they put it in one of those plastic sleeves so the front and back covers won't get dirty, but it's also the same embossing that the front of the album has. Not the album, you know what I mean. The season's greetings. But let's see if there's any personalization. Kind of doubt it, but also there might be for the birthdays. There is, okay, let's see. Set on birthday, Soyon birthday, and then these are the days, and then obviously from his nine debut, these are the days um, that the new concert's gonna be happening and I'm going to the concert, guys. So very excited. I am going to Korea from the 25th of January to the 3rd of February. So if you are also going, please do let me know. I would love to meet some of you guys there. And then we have nothing in February, but we have Jiwon's birthday in March. Then we have Jihan's birthday in April. Cheung's birthday in May. We have Nagyong's birthday in June. And then September, we have Hayoung's birthday. 
and then Jisun's birthday in uh, November. And then we have Giri's birthday in December, but obviously she is no longer in the group, so they don't have it listed, but yeah, Giri's birthday. And then I'm fairly certain these are all gonna be the same. Ooh, there's more photos. So we have this. I'm not sure what it says. Concert. I see concert. So I want to say that these are probably things that they want to accomplish in 2024. Yes, bucket list right here. Jihan concert, which is happening. Yay. And then we have more photos. These ones are matte. This is a little bit of a crease on Nagyang, but not too bad. We have some more photos, so I will go through them. I don't know if these are the same photos or if they're different photos off the top of my head. Oh, that's very cute. Oldest and youngest. So cute. I'm really horrible at remembering like ship names, like between two mem members. So <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Oh, this one is really awful. You can barely see Jihun. It's okay, it's fine. And then we have a couple more photos in the other outfits. And that is the end of the planner. The next thing in here is the calendar. I always love a good calendar. Let's see. So here is this year's calendar. They have decided to be a little bit more eco-friendly. I want to say that these rings are made of like a very thick cardstock paper. So I do appreciate that. I'll compare the size to the previous years. So this was last year's season's greetings, which as you can tell, it's already a lot bigger. This is a ton bigger, but as you can see, they used plastic last year. So they're definitely trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly. But let's go through this year's calendar. So I'll show you one side first, and then I'll go back and show you the other side. Serom Soyon from his nine debut. Nothing in February. Then we have Jiwon Day in March. Jihan Day in April. Cheong Day in May. Nagyong in June. I think it's funny that they don't match the members to the, like, what month they were born in, but that's okay because they do them in member order. And then we have units. I love a good unit photo. Very cute, very fun. And then let's go ahead and flip this to the other side so that we can look at the other pictures, the full pictures. So we have a full group, the other unit. So what they did, I wanna say, yeah, okay. No, hold on. I'm so confused. So what they did is they put one unit on one side. So this one has Cheong, Jihan, Hayoung, and Serom. And then on the other side, they put the other unit. I was very confused at first, but that makes sense to me. So they put Jiwon, Jisun, Nagyoung, and Soyeon here. Okay, that makes more sense. And then they did the same thing here. So one side has Soyeon and Jiwon. This side has Jisun and Nagyoung. This side has, oh, this is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Hayoung and Cheung. The other side has Serom and Jihan. Okay, that makes more sense to me. <laughs> Got it. And then we have Jihan, Nakyang, Cheung, 
this is so cute oh my goodness so, really so stunning oh that's so so cute these pictures are so gorgeous oh my god i cannot wait to use this calendar and then we have a whole little thing of goodies so let's go ahead and look what comes in here oh my goodness so many goodies okay so the first thing that i pulled out is this and what is in here this is what they call a message card but i really like this because it looks like a vinyl record if you can see so right in the middle is jisun jihun soyeon hayoung jiwon Serum and Nakyang and Cheyang. But it's so cute because it looks like a seven inch vinyl. And I love that little concept design. This is on the back. I think that's so cute. But I love it because this is literally the size of like a seven inch record. And then it play, it comes out and it looks like a vinyl. I think that's so smart. Whoever designed that chef's kiss, love it. And then we have some sticker sheets. So this is the first one. And they're actually perforated. Oh my goodness. That's a big thing in the Flover world. I'm not going to use these stickers obviously, but very, very cool. Next up we have a poster so let's see how the folds are on this one this is like a mini poster well it's a mini big poster but this is the picture honestly the fold is not terrible cutting it very close here and then the only thing is it cut off Nak Young's hair but that's really not that big of a deal this poster is so cute oh my goodness I want to frame it <laughs> and then I believe the last thing that we have are mini posters which I love we have Ceylon. And they're really nice ones this year. They're like very sturdy. Hiya. Jimon. Jisun. I love this hair color on her. It's like very, like a stark contrast from her skin. And I think it looks really pretty. Like the, I mean, black, let's be honest. It's just black hair, but it just, it suits her so well. I love this so much. Oh, this picture is really pretty. And that is everything in this year's Seasons Greetings. All right, everyone, that was my unboxing of this year's Seasons Greetings from Promise 9. It is a beautiful ballerina concept, and it is so gorgeous and so worth the money. There's so much stuff that you get in it, so if you are conflicted on getting it, definitely get it. I recommend it so much. I am so happy to have this, and I am so excited for the year ahead. I really hope that we get some amazing things in 2024. So thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing. I will see you guys later. Goodbye!